in this tutorial we will learn draw commands we have already seen line command in the first lecture next command is polyline polyline is same as line only it is connected when we create line each part of the line is separate whereas when we create polyline it is a connected single object if we select the polyline complete object will get selected that is the only difference between line and polyline and method to create polyline is same as line you can convert simple line into polyline and polyline into simple line to convert polyline into simple line you will have to use the explode command select explode and select the polyline and press enter it will be converted into a simple line and if you want to convert simple line into polyline then you will have to use the join command click here and select join and select all the object that you want to join press enter and it will be converted into polyline or single object you can also assign thickness to polyline using pedit command click on modify pedit edit polyline then select the polyline and select width here and give the desired thickness suppose i want point to enter and press escape in this way you can give thickness also to polyline then if object is polyline then its area calculation is also very easy if object is not polyline during area calculation you have to click each and every corner to defend the area but if it is a polyline you can very easily calculate the area select utilities measure area then click on object and select the polyline object it will show the area and perimeter of that complete object that is also one of the benefit of polyline if you want to calculate area quickly then convert that complete shape into polyline and you can very easily calculate the area then next is circle we have seen circle by radius method to create circle by diameter method select this arrow and click on center diameter give the center point and give the diameter it will create the circle with that diameter same way next method is two point circle passing through two points suppose i have one object here suppose i want to create one circle passing through this point and this point then you can choose the method of circle passing through two point give the first point give the second point it will create circle passing through two points then passing through three points suppose i have a triangle here and i want to create a circle passing through these three midpoints and you can use the three point method give the first point second point and third point in this way you can create circle passing through three points then next is tan tan radius that is circle touching to two objects and of given radius those two objects can be line circle or two circle or two lines suppose i will create two circles i want to create one circle touching to these two circles of desired radius click here and select tan tan radius then select the first circle select second circle and give the radius it will create circle touching to those circle with that much radius then last is tan 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 that is circle touching to three objects it can be a line or it can be a circle click on tan 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 then give the first circle second circle and third circle it will create circle touching to three objects the next is arc three point arc give the first point make ortho of give the second point give the third point and if we click on the arrow there are number of options has been given as per the available input we can choose the desired option suppose we will try this one start center end suppose i have one shape here i want to create one arc here for that i will choose this 
start center end now he is asking for the start point of the arc so you have to decide first point considering that arc will be created in anti clockwise direction therefore this will be my first point then give the center point and give the end point so as per data available with you you can choose the desired option to create the arc or most of times you can create the arc by trimming the circles the next is rectangle give the first point give the second point this is a free hand rectangle and if you want to create rectangle with dimensions then give the rectangle command then specify the first point then you will have to choose this dimension option click on dimension then give the length give the width then give the side on which side you want to create the rectangle click there same way you can create rectangle with filleted corner also for that select the rectangle command then choose this fillet option then give the value for fillet is to enter then give the first corner point and give the second corner point and this way you can create a fillet rectangle also or you can create chamfer rectangle rectangle choose this chamfer option then give the chamfer value suppose 2 by 2 give the first point give the second point after creating chamfer or fillet rectangle if you want to create normal rectangle then choose the rectangle option for that you will have to cancel the chamfer option for that click on chamfer and give the distance of 0 0 give the first point give the second point otherwise it will always create chamfer rectangle then if you click on the arrow near the rectangle command then there is polygon option is there then you will have to specify the number of sides for polygon you can specify minimum 3 maximum 1024 number of sides suppose I want 6 numbers enter you will have to specify the center point of polygon where you want to create the center then you will have to choose whether you want inscribe method or circumscribe method you will understand this what is this inscribe and circumscribe polygon dimension can be specified in three ways you can specify its edge length you can specify gap between two parallel lines that is distance of face to face distance then you can specify gap between two opposite corners that is called as corner to corner distance if you have face to face distance then you will have to use the circumscribe method and if you have corner to corner distance then you will have to use the inscribe method and if you have age length then you will have to use the age method you like in give polygon command give number of sides 6 enter give the center of polygon now suppose here we will choose inscribe in circle then you will have to specify radius for circle make ortho of specify radius of circle suppose i will give radius of 5 enter now i have chosen here inscribe method that means this distance of 5 will be from the center to the one corner from utilities we can check it click on distance and track the center point and take to any corner so from center to any corner will be distance of 5 that means corner to corner distance will be double that is 10 same way again polygon number of side 6 center of polygon then circumscribe about circle then again specify the radius again if I give the radius of 5 then this distance of 5 will be from the center to mid of the edge will be the distance of 5 that means face to face distance will be double that is 10 and last method is edge give the polygon command give the number of edges suppose 5 enter then for age you don't need to click the center point if you want to choose the age method then don't click center point if you click center point it will go for inscribe and circumscribe then for age method you will have to directly click on this age option here then you will have to specify the first endpoint of the age then make ortho on then give the direction where you want to go you can choose the direction and give the distance of the age suppose i will give 5 then this 5 will be the length of edge and in fact this will be the length of every edge as it is a polygon every edge is same in this way you can use the polygon command 